was that? Oh, y'all can hear me talking. <laughs> You have a wonderful voice. It sounds like you be on the radio or something. Two is the because the residential and the commercial mix together. Yeah. You know, it's so family. Yeah, it's a genuine neighborhood. Yeah. And they're just inventing that now for mixed juice. I know, it's so funny. That's where they did the Prince Spaghetti commercial. Yeah. Yes. Anthony! I love that thing. <laughs> Down the street, yeah. Now I'm telling my age. No, I, uh, believe me, when I, I used to live there. I am experiencing Boston in North End, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Express in Boston. Oh, it's right here. And experience in Boston. <laughs> I am Boston. <laughs> oh, that festival! Yeah, well, she's got there's pictures in here of all the festivals that they used to have. There's another one that where he goes back. He talks about the festivals in Italy and how they line up with the ones in the North End. It's cool. That's so awesome. And then that's is this East Boston? This is East Boston. <laughs> I guess this is East Boston. Yeah, I think so. Much so. Yeah. Cool. And then we're Chelsea or something up there. I wonder where we are. Salem Street, it's on the corner of Paul Mentor in uh, Salem. This is Bobby and Nikki, current owners of Pocari's. Pocari's Coffee was founded in 1932 by Italian immigrants, Anthony Pocari. Pocari's Coffee is a North End staple offering many traditional dry goods, foods, all kinds of spices, nuts, uh, Italian specialties. And these are the two faces that you see every day when you walk into the cars. They took over from their father, uncles, and I, another father. Great family tradition for cars. On the corner of Pamenta Street and Shalem Street. Hello! There's Stephen Piscatelli's here, they're all in here. Uh, that's Jimmy Durante. Yeah, and there's me. When I, was a major, you? when I was a major deer, it's you. You handsome son of a No kidding. <laughs> nice talking to you. Yeah, this is the picture taken in 1961 when I was a major deer at Gerald's. It was on the corner of Commercial and uh, Fleet Streets. It was one of only four restaurants in the North End at the time. Uh, Jimmy Durante came, he was a good friend of my boss's and he was uh, playing at Brinstrom's nightclub and we had to celebrate his 50th anniversary in show business and my boss decided to give him uh, a 50th anniversary show business party and Jimmy Durante came, Sonny King, all these children in, these children in the picture are uh, all living today and uh, who's on the city council who's on the board of the Commonwealth, but most of them, are lo they're all local kids. And they all remember this picture that I took from the, the Boston Herald, and they gave me a copy and I kept it. But that's Jimmy Durante, if anybody knows, 1961. Anybody know what game this is called? Anybody? Did I hear Bocce? Yes, you got it! This is where, this was brought over, this game was brought over from Italy. You know, it was popular throughout the United States among the Italian Americans. Nostalgic reasons. Marchi is a game of ball rolling on a special stone dust court. Natalie DeMarco grew up 
playing Bocce in Calabria, a region in southern Italy where love for the game runs deep as roots of the grapevine. Most rights, he comes to Langoni Park in the north end to let hard days slip by over a few rounds with friends. Bocce matches still take place evening in the Langoni Park in the north end. That's how they play games. The game of Bocce is, uh, you can hold that. The game of Bocce is, see the little ball? That little ball is tossed first. Then each one, there's four players on each side. They touch the little ball first, and then they gotta get the big ball closest to the little ball. And whoever gets it closest to the little ball gets one point. If they get two of their balls, they get two points. Oh, okay. And the winner, 21 points. So this building is actually over on the corner of Prince Street and Salem Street, which is just around the corner from where we are. Um, it has some really classic North End architecture with the copper in front of the buildings. Um, this building, this picture is of my father, my grandfather, and my brother on my grandfather's commercial fishing boat. And so a lot of fishing boats were um, parked over here in Boston Harbor for a long time. And it kind of changed New England's whole commercial fishing. And um, this is a classic Italian dish with uh, mussels and linguine. In the early 1970s, both Peter and John immigrated from Italy to the north end of Boston with their families. And then shortly after, in 1974, they opened the Paolo and Rossi Meat Market at 56 Salem Street. They're still there today. The north end has a very European feel. Since you often visit several small stores, specialty vendors to do your shopping, the baker, the fruit and vegetable stalls, and the butchers. Many neighborhood grocery stores, fruit vendors, butcher shops, bakeries, shoe stores, clothiers, and cobblers have simply disappeared, many replaced by restaurants. Born on North Street. This is Angie DeLeo. North Ender. True North Ender. Angie, say hi. Hi. This is my husband Alfonso. This is his aunt, his mother's sister. My great aunt. Out of 12 children, 12, there's only two left. Out of the original 12. Great auntie? Hi, auntie. They gave me this one. So this is my father, my brother, and my grandfather on the, their fishing boat. I'm oh, glad you asked. It's uh, actually taken here in the North End. It's one of the bocce courts. It happened uh, around 1942. And these courts are, were quite common in the area. Some of them still exist. Um, but have you ever played bocce? Ah, uh, just once. Oh, <laughs> Observe, it's a, it's, a, it's a game of skill. You have great skill, skill I don't have. <laughs> Sorry, do people still play bocce in the courts or no? Yeah, yeah. They still play. Actually, every year there's a bocce tournament in the summer. Um, it just happened a couple weeks ago here. Yeah. <laughs> this is a party camp. Welcome to the North End. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. She still is, though. <laughs>